Y'all, I have been so sick. You have no idea how sick I've been. And I am so dehydrated. I have not drank literally any water, like anything in probably a week. I'm not even kidding. And I'm so dehydrated. Like I feel it in my body. I feel it like in my tongue. I don't even know if that makes sense. And I was gonna fill my hydro jug because at least I know I'm getting <clears throat> 64. I'm getting 64 ounces or something like that. But I think it's dirty, I don't know. I was so, so over being sick. I know there's like a bad sickness going around, but, <clears throat> but I'm over it. What's up guys? Um, this is gonna be shitty quality, I already know, but um, I've been so sick, like I said, and I just like, I'm still like not 100% and I just like, I've been miserable. Like, I haven't left the house since Thanksgiving. And it's definitely December 5th. This, no, December 6th or something. I don't know. I just know there's a sickness going around. But first, Alex was really sick. And I was taking care of him, obviously. And then I got really sick. And then I ended up sicker than he was. And it was just not, not a good time. I had a fever of 102. Um, I was sweating. I was freezing. I threw up. I was coughing. I had a sore throat, I was fatigued, I was just super tired and achy, like I had all the symptoms. And um, literally every time I'm online, I see like everybody else is sick as well. Um, obviously something's just going around, but I haven't been this sick since uh, December 2019. And the reason I say that is because um, or the reason I know that is because that's when I thought I had COVID before COVID was even a thing because I have still, n n me or Alex are the only one in our family who have not had COVID yet and, um, tested negative this time around. So I, I don't know what it is. It, there's a lot of things going around, but, um, yeah, I'm finally like, this is like the first day I'm starting to really feel more myself again. All I've been doing is sleeping, and um, as I was saying, I literally have not been drinking any water. I didn't even eat until almost 6 o'clock today. Um, yeah, I just am not hungry. Everything just makes me so nauseous. Nothing tastes good. I can barely smell anything. Um, I'm just not vibing over here. I'm sick of just sitting at home, but I mean, I don't want to get other people sick and I don't feel like going anywhere. So yeah, but I am super dehydrated. That's why I filled up my hydro jug. And so I know how much water I'm at least drinking because I desperately, desperately need it. So like I feel it. So yeah. Anyways. I just wanted to start this vlog to kind of like push myself to continue to vlog tomorrow. Obviously, I'm going to be at home again, but I've really been wanting to post. If you're sick, man, stay home if you can because this is brutal. Literally, I just, I hate being sick. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to start the vlog. Um, hope y'all have been good. Hope y'all have been safe and not sick like me. So... Yeah, I just wanted to start this vlog and and uh, kind of give myself that push to continue to vlog tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning.
back to my channel if you're new here my name is Hannah and if you're returning hi I'm so glad you're here again um, as you can see by the title um, I've been very very sick and I thought I would vlog uh, showing getting my life back together because this sickness really took it out of me um, Alex was actually sick before me he gave it to me and I ended up worse than him. I basically just like deep clean, not really deep clean actually. I just made sure to like clean stuff that I kind of neglected over the past week. Cause I usually clean every Sunday and then I'll clean like throughout the week, like little things, like just like wiping down counters and stuff. Um, but with being sick, with both of us being sick, the house kind of got neglected a little bit. Alex uh, was feeling better after a few days, so he kind of cleaned. It was way worse than what you guys saw as I was cleaning. Um, yeah, it, it was pretty bad. So he actually cleaned last weekend, so it wasn't too bad. But I went through and like Lysol wiped everything and trying to get these germs out of the house because this is the sickest I've been in like two years. The last time I can remember that I was like flu sick was December of 2019 and it was right after my brother and his dad um, went to Vegas. They came back, they were sick, I got sick, my mom got sick, my sister got sick, her husband might have got sick, I'm not sure. The only person who didn't get sick was Alex. And this was before COVID was like known. So like, I think I might have had COVID with like my symptoms and stuff, I don't know. but. So far, since COVID's been a thing and like testing, I've never had COVID and neither has Alex. So I don't know what this was, but it was bad. Like even when I'm sick, like maybe when I was younger, that's different. But in my adult life, when I'm sick, I never get a fever ever. And I had 102 fever. So did Alex. Have no energy to do anything like I... I like barely have energy to like get up <laughs> like I don't even have energy like I've barely been eating it's just like I don't know I've been really bad and like I said in that one clip if I do keep it in I was very very dehydrated like I felt it in my body but like I just couldn't get myself to like do anything so I would literally take Sadie out feed her and like lay back down and until Alex got home and then like Alex would get dinner and do everything and blah blah blah. So I'm just like, I figured I would vlog to keep myself like kind of going more, I guess. Um, and I haven't posted in a while. I really wanted to post a lot in December, kind of like a vlogmas, but not like every day. And then this, did I just show my boob? Um, and then this sickness just totally took it out of me. You know, don't go out if you're sick, if you don't have to. I know it's not as easy. Like, people, like Alex had to go back to work no matter what. He tested negative for COVID and they were like, okay, well, you have to come back. Funny enough, now like three people are out of work because they're so sick. So, yeah, so that sucks for them. But I think workplaces need to take um, being sick a little more serious, even if you test negative, but you're you literally have all the symptoms, make it make sense. Even if it's not COVID, you're sick and you can give it to other people. So anyway, that was my little rant. Also, I have another rant actually. This is about, okay, so on top of being sick, before that, Sadie was sick again. If you're new here, hi, my dog gets sick all the time. It's just who she is, I don't know what, what happened to her but she's always sick so I've gotten into something or whatever she's throwing up again diarrhea the whole thing so we went brought her to the vet got her stuff anyway long story short while we were sick I know she was like itching her ear a lot and she has really bad allergies so I didn't think anything of it well golden retrievers are prone to a lot of things actually but um prone to ear infections and she had an ear infection we got to medicine um, hoping it would help and it didn't. So I have to make a vet appointment again, even though she was just there two weeks ago. So since COVID, um, a lot of vets were 
um, making you stay outside and then they bring your pet in and it kind of like it gave me so much anxiety because I don't know what they're doing and it was just super sketch and something I've noticed within the past year is so Sadie loved the vet we used to make fun of her all the time because I'm like what dog likes a vet but she used to get so excited like anybody who's willing to give her attention she's there like she did not care she loved going to the vet she's like she used to whine like as soon as we'd pull up because she'd be so excited now since COVID happened and we switched vets because obviously we moved so even like this other vet even though you're in the exam room they bring her back where you can't see her and it really irritates me because she literally cries and like whines and like pulls the technician because she doesn't want to go back there and that has never been a thing with her um she like i said she loves attention so anybody who's willing to give it to her she she doesn't care now she like just does not want to go back there and i'm kind of like skeptical i'm like what are you doing back there is it just normal things that dogs don't like or is she being like not as taken care of as i am hoping i don't understand why you have an exam room but then you take her in the back like where are you taking her what are you doing i don't know that's my little rant i'm getting really irritated i think next time she goes to the vet i'm gonna be like and like they take her back down and be like can you do what you gotta do here and if there's not enough room Maybe you should have made your exam rooms bigger because that's what an exam room is for. She gets so much anxiety and she like literally is trying to get out of the, um, she's trying to get out of the room, like, and she never used to do that. Like she'd get a little antsy towards the end of the appointment, but yeah, as far as like, just like the overall appointment, she's usually pretty good. Like she's a hyper and you know, she's Sadie, but I don't know. I'm getting really like sketched out why she's like, is like so terrified to go in the back now i don't know and it irritates me so yeah i think next time she goes i'm gonna be like mm, no she can stay here so we can keep an eye on you guys and if you want to go back there maybe you should let one of us go back there because yeah i don't know what they do to her if they do anything or if she's just going to the vet so much that she's anxious i don't know but she's always gone to the vet a lot and she's never had an issue with until like the past year or so so that's my rant if anybody has the same issue or noticed it after i said something let me know because i don't know she's my baby i'm very protective over her like alex makes fun of me all the time i'm just like so so protective over her as i feel like you should be if you have it's just like kids like you should be protective over your animals i mean their family there she's like i said she's like my baby so to see her upset or in pain or anxious or whatever it is it just stresses me out <sighs> hurts my dog love heart so. y'all my hair is so soft it's looking much better i was having some issues with it being like really dry and oily at the same time and the girl who does my eyebrows gave me a different shampoo to help i think i think it's working